Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm hoping you're having a great weekend. We got some big time stock movement out there. We're seeing a lot of red, but with that being said, I had a lot of questions out there revolving around the best stocks to buy now for a stock market crash, so I thought I'd go into this, and these are not my typical big time growth stocks that will run. These are more of the value plays that you might be surprised to see on this list. So all I'm gonna ask you to do Stick around because I think you're gonna like what I got for you. For anybody that's new to the channel, I am Stock Mo, an old financial advisor and educator. All I ask, hit that subscribe button, absolutely annihilate that like button, hit the bell for notifications, hit all. Take advantage of the link down below as well to Weeble. They are giving you up to 2,300 in free stocks, two free shares of stocks, no matter what, and you only have to put five bucks in there. It's the lowest I've ever seen this offer. It's one of the best times too. And they just added Cardano. They have Ethereum. They have a lot of different cryptos in there. They have Doge. So if you've been interested in this, this is an opportunity to do it. And they're gonna give you a lot of free money to do that. I also have a link down below to BlockFi up to 250 in free Bitcoin. And they're paying interest on top of the crypto, which is the big thing. Take advantage of that. And my link down below to Patreon as well. Come on over and check that out. I have all my portfolios. We have a private Discord with thousands of members. If you want to come in and see what we're discussing, just be a part of all this, highly recommend doing that. So today, we had a lot of people, you know, hey, Mo, what are the stocks we can get into if we don't want the high risk, we want some more value, we want positive earnings, we want earnings that should continue to do well, what stocks could we buy? What are the best stocks to buy now? And so I went out and did some research, found five fantastic value plays out there that I am highly considering either adding more onto or starting to position on, because I don't own all these. One. So I'll give you a little inside look into what I'm looking at for stocks moving forward. Hopefully we'll see some movement upward and we'll take advantage of it. First things first though, I wanna show you the S&P 500. We are kinda of gonna gauge these stocks compared to this. Right now the S&P 500 is up 16.93% for the year, starting January 1st up to this date. Did throw out 15 to 20 cent percent by the end of the year. I said that on the uh, January 1st. So right now we already hit the number. We are in between there. We will see if it rises. I do think this will go up uh, approximately 45 to 4,600 by the end of this year. We will see where this goes. So I'm not uh, worrying too much about the recent downturn. Uh, if you look at this, it's been going up. We had a few of those downturns throughout this trip. This is just gonna be another one of those experiences. And I do expect it to hit new highs before the end of the year. Now, the first of the best stocks to buy now for this list is going to be Dow Inc. Everybody, this is a big, big company. And of course, um, I was out there looking at some things. I wanna go over my, my back reasoning here on this, and I got my notes here to help me out. And this, this one's a little different. Now this year, according to my notes and what I was looking into, they are too expected to possibly have roughly $7.18 in earnings per share. That would give it a current PE, if they can do it for this year, of around eight to nine. That is way under the 15 that I like to look at, which is the average of the, of the market over the, the long term of it. And so finding one like that is good. But then I always like to look when I'm looking into these value plays, what are the price to earnings ratio moving forward? And there's a lot more to this. You can look at growth of the revenue. Are they growing? Is the earnings getting better? Are they cutting costs? But just to keep it simplified for this video, uh, taking a look at next year's, it does drop down to 5.64 is what they're estimating per share. That puts us at a PE ratio of 10 to 11. I know on here it says a little bit about 22. It does not have some of the forward earnings in there. So we will see um, as it goes forward, a PE of, for 2022 of roughly 10 to 11. That tells us we have roughly a 40 to 50% upside potential to get to that PE ratio of 15, which is a fair number. So let's go ahead and take a look to see how high it's up. You can see it's up 11% uh, this year or year to date. And then over the last year, it's up 41.87. It's doing very well. And uh, in the long run, I think this stock has some room to run. And that's why I added it to the list of the best stocks to buy now. This is the best value stocks to buy. And then the next one, of course, I'm gonna throw one out there. This is one that got some attention from the retail investors out there that call meme stocks. But you know, behind this, I do not own this one. But I'm telling you, I'm looking into it because it did make my list. This year, they are expected to have earnings of roughly $1.52 a share, giving a, a PE for 2021 of roughly 17.86. 
Now, that isn't under my 15, so you'd be looking for continued growth in that, and we do see that. Their earnings per share go from 1.52 up to $2.24 next year is what they're expecting. That will push that PE ratio down to 12, and that, to me, is a good stock to get into because you're looking at a 20 to 30% possible gain to get back up to the 15. Then on top of that, you got that whole retail push that could end up helping this stock in the in the Ford. Now I'm going with the fundamentals here. Of course, I was looking at this as a, is it growing? Is the PE getting stronger? We do see that. You see the earnings going from $1.52 up to $2.24 for next year. That's what you're looking for in a, in a value play. And then you couple it with what I said about the, the opportunity of seeing it grow. We'll find out, we'll find out. So that's the next of the best stocks to buy now. And we'll take a look at what the analysts think, because one of these actually analysts believe that it'll end up lower next year than it is right now. Uh, and I still have it in there because I think it won't. So we'll find out. The next of the best value stocks to buy now is going to be Verizon Communications. And this is an interesting one because look at this. Year to date is down 4%. It's actually lost money uh, over the last year when the S&P 500 is up 16%. This is actually down 4%. It is, it is underperforming the market by 20% so far. So as we look into this over the last year, if you owned it for 12 months, you are only up 1%. Easily, easily, easily just not, it's just not looking good. So uh, we'll leave it at that and just say that I believe current PE of Verizon, uh, we see some opportunity here moving forward. It doesn't change much. Uh, they have earnings of $5.13. This year is what they're expecting. Next year, earnings of $5.19. So it's not going to change much, much. And that gives us a P.E. ratio of approximately 11. And so there is what we're talking about in terms of uh, opportunity for these value plays. That is why I put it in there as the best stock to buy now, because it gives us that chance of getting possibly a good 30 to 40% run up to get that P.E. ratio up to 15 to be in that long term. And if you see a big market crash, I would not expect to see Verizon be one of those stocks that would just collapse in share price because it's already down at a very low level. Look at the dividend paying out 4% as well. Uh, we can take a look at the other ones. No dividend for that one. 4% dividend for Dow. Um, so you've seen a little bit of opportunity. And like I said, Verizon has 4%. And then the next of the best stocks to buy now is Kroger. Kroger is one that they're paying out a 2% dividend. And I got in my notes here, they have a Let's see here, Ooh, we got some opportunity here with a 13 PE basically for both years, $3.08 this year in, in earnings per share, and it goes to $3.07 next year earnings per share. So it's kind of, it's a grocery store. So, you know, it's kind of figured out what they're doing, and that is what they're looking at this particular moment. Gives, gives it a PE ratio of 13 for 2021 and 2022. So for me, that stock could move up about 20%, and I would expect if we have any issues in 2022, which I am looking into, I'm trying to find out if we're going to, I'm looking at buying more of these kind of stocks that people have to continue to get groceries. They stop eating out as much. They start making food at home. This could actually benefit Kroger. So when people ask me what kind of stocks you look into, if you think the market might turn, these are the kind of plays I'm looking into. Verizon, people are still buying their cell phones. They still have their cell phone. A lot of people find that as a necessity. And so I'm trying to find uh, companies like that. Another thing, this is a little bit different. Norton LifeLock, I have this, I do like this one. And I have it down here. We have uh, earnings of per share of $1.72 this year, and then next year $1.93. So it is jumping nicely up. And the PE ratio goes from this year expected 15 up to down to about 13 and a half for next year. I like that little growth. I think it's gonna to continue to grow as online security becomes a bigger and bigger issue. And that is why I threw it in there as one of the best stocks to buy now for 2021. And I have a feeling um, it's gonna do very well. And it's already jumped up nicely for us. So I think continuing on, you're gonna see this grow. It's only up 27% for the year. Let's take a look at this one. I didn't do this for the year. 15% for the year. So you're gonna see some movement out of these. Now what the analysts think, I got Dow in here, Dow Inc. And you can see here, they have an upside potential based on the analysts out there, 26%. I do have a link to tip ranks down below. Take advantage of this. It's in the description. I love having all this in one place. But the top analysts out there have this going up about 26% in the next year. And remember, 
if you have any issues in the market and you think there's going to be some dangers, these are the kind of plays you're looking at, the value plays you want to get your money into, the plays that give you the opportunity that it's limited downside, but the upside is still there and you know it's not overvalued. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond has retreated in its price lately and you can see now it has a 12.52% upside potential based on the analysts out there and I do believe it could actually move up a little bit more than that, but we will see. The next of the best stocks to buy now, Verizon. This is one, uh, It's they have it only at 9%. I actually think it could go up more than that. Like I said, with Verizon, um, I thought it could go up about 20 to 30%. We will wait and see how that goes and how that makes out. Uh, what do we got here? PE, that, da, 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 da. So it could actually go up closer to 30%. We'll, we'll find out though. Uh, Kroger, we have, this is the one I was talking about. They have it actually down. And I disagree with this because I actually believe that this could rally up if we start to see any issues out there. And we might see that in 2022. I don't believe we're gonna see that through 2021. Uh, you're seeing a normal pullback after six to seven weeks of big time price appreciation and I'm fine with that and then we'll buy through it and then we should see new highs by the end of this year for the market and we'll find out. But this is one that I actually think could continue higher as money tries to find some safety out there in 2022 once the Fed starts tapering off or announcing uh, that they'll be tapering off and money from the government might come back not spending as much. That's when you start to see these kind of plays uh, move up. And lastly, but not least, Norton LifeLock, they have this one at 13% upside potential. This is another one of them value plays. That's why I put it in there, the best stocks to buy now, because it gives us that opportunity with some upside potential of over 10% over the next 12 months, which is a good gain. So I wanted to cover all these because I know a lot of people out there have been asking me, hey, you cover, we know you got the high growth. We know you're in the clean energy, the, the EV sector, and I've been going over some, we had a meeting today and I was talking about some new uh, EV companies out there I'm looking into and some other stocks, but I wanted to come out on YouTube and show you uh, five solid value plays that if you're looking, you're, you want to have a little diversity in your portfolio, but with stocks that have a chance of double digit price increases, these are the ones you can look into. So like I said, I own some of these, I don't own some, I'm looking into adding them, but I wanted to come out here and just share it with you before I make any moves as well. If you want to know exactly what I am going to buy and sell and all that good stuff, come over and check out the Patreon. I do have the link down below and I, we have our private Discord and I show all my portfolios and stuff and you can check that out, it's good stuff. And uh, take advantage of the, the Weeble down below. They're going to get two free stocks right now for that. You only have to put five bucks in there and they're going to give you a shot at 2300 Guaranteed two stocks worth $11 or more altogether, all the way up to 2300 And I've seen some people get some really nice stocks out of that. And then the BlockFi, of course, take advantage of BlockFi down there. They have up to 250 in free Bitcoin and they're paying interest on your crypto, which that is one of the main reasons I love that place. And uh, I do have the tip ranks link down below and the Patreon. So that's what I got for you today. Hope you're having a great weekend. I can't wait for the market on Monday and we'll see what happens. Like I always say, let's get out there and make some money.